got our stuff together today, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to see if we can make these bass bite. This Sunday afternoon, we had 2 o'clock service today, and we just got out of church. So we uh, got a little time this afternoon to play. This time a week ago, there was ice an inch and a half thick on the ground. Nice t-shirt weather. Welcome to Mississippi. But this is what we love about it. You get a break, and then you're stuck with the same old thing over and over and over. So what we fix to do is we fix to see if we can talk these old bass into bite. And I think what I'm going to start with, and I like these little rod holder things, except when that hook goes through it right there. So that can be a nightmare. But they're not too bad to get out. But it keeps that line from getting all tangled. So we're going to try this old H&H &H out to start with. Usually in the spring, that's money. Now, if this don't bite, we're going to put that fluke on. That's, that's my two starting off baits. So Y'all watch out. I'm going to leave the camera sitting right here, and I'm going to just step over here behind. I'm going to lay these poles a little bit to the side. Watch to see if I hang one over here in just a minute. I mean, right off the bat, second throw. That was literally second throw. Now, this is very small. He's probably not even a half a pound. But this is the pond that I'm trying to manage. This is our, my in-law's pond. And it is literally way overstocked with bass. That's why there's so many this size. So everything's getting filleted and eat. I'm sorry if you don't like that. But we fish to eat. See if we can catch a nothing. I really don't see where we need them crocs. Hanging, I like to throw it with about that much hanging off the end. I just feel like I got better control. Maybe not. Maybe not that time. I don't know if y'all are familiar with an H and H. I know a lot of you boys are. But some of y'all that watch from other areas, I'm gonna show you what an H and H is. H and H is a small spinner bait, and when I say small, this you know that size of my hand, it's not huge. It's got these two double hooks in it. Okay, see this has got this little loop right under here. And you can take that hook, it's just a split hook. And I like the double spinner. Now they got some with the willow blades. So you can get a couple, you can get single spinner, just got one bigger spinner. I like this and I like this color. I like the orange head. Now some of them have a yellow head. And you can swap the skirt in and out on some of them, but you used to get them like a dollar fifty. Now they're like two fifty, three dollars. I seen some of them somewhere like three dollars or fifty cents. Oh, I put a lot of fish on the table with them. But this is not called fishing. This is called fishing. <laughs> like 
here, I just slow roll it. You never know what's going to spark that fish to want to come out and get that. He, he, he may have, there he is. And none of these are going to be used. I know said that over and over again. They still eating. This time of year when that water's cool, these little old bass are good to eat. And I know it's against a lot of people's religion to eat, keep bass and eat them. But that don't really bother me none. Whoa, they're jumping out fast as I can put them in there. Well, like old Richard Gene, the fishing machine says, if you don't watch his channel, you need to check him out. Let's catch another one. All right. The thing about fish is I like to talk and carry on, have a good time. We done lost one of my H and H's. I was gonna show y'all, I keep a parcel of them. Got down in here. I got a pile of H and H's, but I don't think I'm gonna put a nothing on there right now. Oh man, y'all ain't gonna believe this, but I've left a lot of my bass fishing stuff in my boat. All my crank baits and stuff. I got all my white perch and stuff in here. Yup. So we limited. We limited today. So that being said, oh, uh, now we're not out of bait by any means. I think we out of, ain't got no. That's why we got some here. I got a whole pile of spinner baits. I was just gonna play with some crank baits top water stuff but I don't even have any of that with me. Let's see what we got right here. <laughs> yeah, well, what about white? I don't even know what this one is. It's got a big old big old willer willer blade on it. One of the skirts done slipped down. I like my H&H &H better, but... Yep, I got all my bass fishing stuff in my boat, in a compartment on my boat, and I didn't... I haven't been fishing in a while, so I hadn't organized. I just grabbed my bag and cut out. But not to worry, we got plenty of stuff to fish with. Now this is my old... What, this is what I think is the fisherman's knife. I know y'all have seen me tie some knots in other videos, but just for the sake of y'all that had not seen it, what I'm doing is I got my line here, and I just twist it, and I'll try to keep it where you can see what I'm doing, but once I twist it, and I do all of my main big lures on any of my, like, 15, this is 15 pound big game trilene, all right, I'm twisted, I go through that knot, I mean, through that loop right there, once I went through that, then I come back through the loop right here that I made. And there's probably five or six twists in that. So. That's the knot I like. What really irks me about losing that bait over there is I have one of them little quick deals on there. We may wind up taking that back off. I don't know. Fluke it. You know what a fluke is, right? right? Tell me y'all know what the fluke is. Fluke. And they several different colors. I like the caffeine shad and I like the KVD Strike King. It's awesome. But now this, I was, last fall, the reason this one's on there, I was catching them with this color. Just so you know, that's a, uh, this one I think is actually a four alt Gamagatsu hook. I like Gamagatsu hook. But I come up through there and you see how that's hooked? And then I just took the tip of that just lightly right under there just to keep limbs from going over that or keep them going over that so it don't get hung up. 
but I don't want it so that the fuse can't hardly get it. I want it to come loose and hang him in his jaw. But you can bump that right up through these pots real slow. And man, that thing swimming, they can't, they can't stand that. Yeah. I mean, it looks too real. And I don't use any weight or anything. Here, let's bring it down this edge. Oh, there's one right there, I see. And these little, little bitty bass, you'd think, well, all them you fish it for, that's too big a bait. No, they'll try it. Trust me, they'll try it. We may wind up putting eight. See how they want to act. Any of you that have fished much, fish are funny sometimes. And as the season changes, what they're fighting changes because you got to figure out what's in the water that they're eating at that present time. Maybe a little bit early for this fluke because they usually do that when fish start hatching and spawning and they start coming up there feeding on them smaller fish. But now these manners and whatnot in here. For them to eat. There he went. Oh, I missed him. He was a wee bit too small. That's why I usually like a three-all fish. A three-all will allow me in this pond to catch these smaller fish pretty easy. And I think I was fishing the bigger fish by his fall. Or either just grab whatever hook I could get my hands on. I didn't give him time to get off. When he bit it, I pulled him on right on up out of the water. Now, you want to go on a little motorboat ride? Or a little buggy ride? There ain't no motorboat today, is it? Go on a buggy ride today with the macho man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just let it go. You didn't miss nothing. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> All right, we got it hooked back. I'm gonna show y'all a magic trick. When this fluke messes up, show y'all a little something, something. We're gonna wait till it messes up before we show you. I had to catch three or four on before I I'll be sharing some secrets with my YouTube fans. I won't tell nobody else. But since y'all watch me and support me, feet need to be in contact with the ground. Oh, <laughs> y'all see that? Y'all couldn't see that. Let me turn, let me get y'all for y'all. Y'all slam this thing. That's my fault, too. I ain't got y'all set up right. I'm, I'm finna hit y'all. Well, crap. Y'all see, see if you come on, let move. Watch, watch this. Let me get all this crap out of your way. I know you don't look at the tip of my pole. Now look at him. Boy. Need it growing over that hill. I'm dead anyway. All right. I towed it way on nicely. And like I said earlier, I'm bad about fishing along these edges. See that weight going out? He's headed out there to it. You can see him fishing. 
moving. If you're paying attention. Look, you see him hit it? I slam me. Let's try this again. He, he was, he sees daddy fishing. All right, now this thing, it tied me some knots in here. All right, he's, he's right there. He rolled the water, but he didn't even attempt to hit the bait. I don't know if I scared him. It ain't swimming right. All right, this one ain't swimming right. I'm gonna show y'all this magic trick I'm talking about earlier. I'm back this up down here, and I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna go ahead, and uh, what happens is, is when that gets split open like this. Now, these are sometimes three dollars and something a pack five dollars pack depends on which ones you buy and i like these are pretty good ones uh some of them are not as good as the others the wind's a little tough today i may not be able to do this cigarette lighter now, i know they cheat but you can effectively melt that back together Be very careful. At least for one more fish. Don't say I ain't never taught you that. I know. They cheat. Throw it down. Get another. And they sell them every day. But you're going to be on the back side of the pond. Wearing them out with just one color. And that's going to be the last one you got in your bag. And you're going to wish you hadn't throw it in the water. Because that trick right there going to save you. And if you don't total, I don't smoke no more. I used to smoke a long time. I don't smoke no more. I ain't smoked in like four or five years. But I've still total lighter. Because I build fires, I do bushcraft, I do, I just, you need to total a lighter in your pocket. I mean, it's a tool. It's not, hey, I smoke. I am against smoking. If you smoke, please quit. I smoked long enough, I know the negative effects that it has on your body. You can't breathe, you can't run. What are you going to do when the game warden gets after you? You can't even out run and you smoking them cigarettes. People smoke them on purpose. I don't even like campfire smoke to get up my nose. Let's see if that thing will swim right now. Hey, I, I can't get stuck coming. Oh, yeah. All ah, right, anyway, let's throw H and All right, folks, we're going to call it quits for today, but I want y'all to know, appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, we're going to go on for ladies and get them cooked in time for me and Brody Wade to kick back with a bowl of ice cream after we eat fish and watch one of them cowboy movies. We might find old John Wayne or Tom Selleck on there shooting somebody. If not, I know Matt Dillon will be on there. We watch
much that I ain't gonna need a speed saver for this regular, so they keep them cowboys, keep us peeled up on them, so. And that one, he didn't roll the water right there, but we're gonna let him go today. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors.